All right, so I just want to make a slight amendment to my super tuning other plant trucks with shims video. So I've had a slight issue. Let's see if I can uh, put it in the camera for you. Um, I'm just I'm just tuning up my boards because uh, it's spring, so getting them all ready to go, and I have been riding them, but. Okay, so this is the issue I've run into. The uh, If you look at this shim here, you can see it has, uh, it folded down and it got bent and it got buckled and it basically got destroyed. And the reason for that was, um, so the reason is because um, it's just this outside wall that has that problem. Because when you have your wheels and your or your truck mounted in there, that's the side that gets all the weight. So, um, so the problem is, what it does is as the shims in there. I'll try. I'll grab this one. What it can do is it can grab this edge, the, uh, the truck as it's rotating, and it can fold it under and pull it down like that. And so I'm going to do two things. To address that, first one is um, I'm just going to use a ever so slightly thicker plastic from the exact same type of bottle. It's still a windshield wiper fluid bottle that I'm using. It's just a slightly thicker bottle. And the other thing I'm doing is on my on my hangers, I'm just taking a little file like this, and uh, I'm just I'm just chamfering this edge right here just very slightly so that way um, as this comes down on it like this that's how that's how it relates um, as, as it slides down it's not gonna pull it under it's gonna push it away and then my my shims I, I did this before but I should mention this as well my shims have all been filed as well um, so that they get pushed away too, but um, filing the hanger should make a huge difference in that. And um, I rode them um, even after this happened, and it didn't really seem to be that detrimental, uh, which was kind of surprising. But of course, it's far from ideal, so I'm fixing it as I'm getting my boards ready for spring. So, uh, see, so yeah, I'm just going to fix that, and then I'm going to put it back together. Um, so I just want to add real quick that uh, while these, the shims were originally glued down, but the glue is just completely dry and useless, so I'm not even going to bother this time. Um, this was the, 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 the back shim right here, the inside shim, and that just that doesn't seem to have any problem just staying in place as it is. Um, but, oh. And then... Uh, you can see the chamfers, hopefully. Um, I just, it's a little more on the outside than on the inside. And I think that's all it's gonna need, is just a tiny bit. And uh, let's get these back together. All right, so it's back together, so one last thing. The other change I've made is I've upgraded from silicone oil to silicone grease. So I got the Super Lube. This was like nine bucks or something, but you use very, very little of this grease, and it should stay on a lot longer. So let me let me get this let me get this on. So they're over tight right now. So I'm just gonna rub it right, just right on. I'm just using a tiny bit. Just rub it right on the hanger on both sides. Move the camera a little bit, and uh, yeah, just like that. Oh yeah, that's moving so much better. Just like that. It's just the tiniest little amount. A little bit of this stuff goes a long way. And um, so basically, what this is is this is silicone oil, and it's thickened with PTFE. So it's got tiny 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 particles of Teflon in here acting as a thickener so if the silicone oil wasn't slick enough now it's got Teflon in it too 
and because it's thick, um, it sticks around a lot better. So uh, that's pretty good. That could be loosened up a little bit. And there we go, it's pretty good. So with this chamfer on it, it shouldn't scissor the shim down anymore. And with the PTFE uh, silicone uh, grease, uh, that should be a lot slicker and stay in place a lot longer. And or the grease should stay in place a lot longer. So that's good. So there we go, that's my quick little update on uh, the super tuning with shims. All right, so actually one last thing. You can also use silicone grease for bushings and bushing seats and pivot cups and all that sort of stuff on your kingpin trucks. So uh, instead of trying to use soap to get rid of squeaks, uh, I think you could st if you stick with the grease, the solution will actually <laughs> last a lot longer than with soap because soap's not really designed to do that. But this stuff is. So if you're having problems with that, you might consider some silicone grease. And you can actually get some a lot cheaper than this stuff uh, and a lot smaller because you're not going to use this much unless you've got 100 trucks. Um, but like at Home Depot in the plumbing area, it's, it's sold as waterproof grease and just check for the silicone type. So there you go. Longboard technology over and out.